A sustained round of torrential downpours after a week of mostly steady rainfall triggered flash flooding in New York on September 29th, disrupting subway service in the most populous U.S. city, inundating basements, and turning some streets into small lakes. A flash flood warning was in effect for New York until 2.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, with as much as six inches of rain falling in some locations, including Brooklyn, Lower Manhattan and John F. Kennedy International Airport in the borough of Queens, said the National Weather Service, across the region, another two to three inches could fall before the system pushed out to sea, and some locations could see even more. According to the service's Weather Prediction Center, the extreme rainfall prompted New York Governor Kathy Hochul to declare a state of emergency for New York City, Long Island, and the Hudson Valley, and some National Guard troops were deployed to assist in the response. Flooding caused major disruptions to New York's subway service and the Metro-North commuter rail service, according to the Metropolitan Transportation Agency, which operates both. Some subway lines were suspended entirely, and many stations were closed. So, if they're here, we're trying to determine that. And we've seen a lot of people leaving throughout the day. Yes, people have been being rescued by the local fire department already from different spots throughout the village. What's your name? 